Hello friends, it is Miss Jessica again. I hope that you are having the best week. I can't believe it's already August. It's so crazy. School's going to start soon. It's all so exciting. So speaking of school, you guys know when I'm not at church, I teach preschool, right? Miss Jessica's friends are two and three, and if you know anything about two-year-olds and three-year-olds, you know they are so loud, right? Miss Jessica's room is crazy loud, and sometimes it's fine because we are doing really fun things, and it's okay that it's loud, but sometimes I need to give them instructions, and when it's so, so loud, they can't hear me. So do you know what I do? I don't get louder. I get quieter, and I say things like... If you can hear me, clap your hands. And you know what they do? They clap their hands. Because when I get quieter and whisper, they have to stop what they're doing and listen so they can hear me. And it works every time. But don't go telling them because it might stop working if they find out that's what we're doing. So I have a story to tell you today about someone else who heard a whisper. Okay? So... There is a prophet, Elijah. So remember the prophets were people that God picked that would go and spread the word, right? Kind of like what Pastor Terry does. So Pastor Terry comes to church and he tells us stories from the Bible and spreads God's word. That's kind of what the prophets did, except for they traveled all over and told lots of people. So um, Elijah was telling people all about God and then he ran into this really evil queen Jezebel. And she did not like that he was telling people about God. And so she had threatened him and she told him that she would have him killed if he didn't stop. And he got scared and he went and he hid in this cave and he's hiding in the cave. And he's like, God, I just don't know what to do. I need you just to speak to me. So God sent a huge storm, big winds everywhere. Elijah didn't hear God speaking. And then God sent an earthquake and everything was shaking. Still didn't hear God speaking. God sent these big, huge fires. Elijah didn't hear anything. He didn't hear anything at all until God came to him and whispered. And when God whispered, Elijah had to stop and listen. And he did. He stopped and he listened and he told God what had happened. And he told God about how Jezebel had threatened to kill him. And he didn't know what to do because he really wanted to spread the word, but he was so worried for his safety. And God told him to go back to where he was and keep spreading the word. And God would protect him and make sure that nothing bad happened to him. And he did. And everything was great. And it was wonderful. And sometimes I know in my time of my life, <laughs> haven't been stopping to listen, right? Sometimes people will be trying to tell us things and we don't realize they're trying to tell us things because we're not listening because we're so caught up in everything we're doing and everything that's going on in our lives and we just miss out on things other people are trying to tell us. So when we stop and we pay attention to what's happening and we listen, we can hear things. And sometimes people um, will say when they come to church on Sundays, they can feel God inside the building because they're stopping and they're not worrying about anything else that's happening outside of church. They're just listening for God inside the building and they can hear God speaking to them because they stopped and they listened. So what I want you guys to do this week is when you are feeling really confused or really scared or really anxious about anything, I want you to just stop and take a breath and just calm down and listen. And sometimes it helps and it helps us figure out what we need to do and it helps us regroup and calm down and we can see a solution. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and it's going to be awesome. Let's put our praying hands together. Okay, here we go. Dear Lord, thank you for always reminding us that you are always with us. Sometimes all we need to do is take a second to listen. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, um, have the very best week. 
I cannot wait till we get to see each other in person again. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. Bye, friends. Thank you.